Today we're going to be talking about the different ways of thinking, and specifically we're going to be talking about additive versus multiplicative reasoning. Here's the problem I want to look at. I measured some trees three years ago, and here were their measurements. I have tree A and I have tree B. Tree A was two meters tall, tree B was three meters tall. After three years, I re-measure them, and now tree A is five meters tall, and tree B is six meters tall. Here's my question. Which tree grew more? Take a minute and think about that for a second. Tree A grew from two meters to five meters. Again, this was, both of these trees were measured over a three year time frame. Tree B went from three meters to six meters. If you said that they each grew the same amount, three meters, you would be thinking in terms of additive reasoning. There is another way to think about this though. If you said that tree A grew more because tree B doubled in size, but if tree A doubled in size, that would mean it was only four meters. So actually tree A more than doubled in size. So you might say that tree A grew more because it grew more than double. It, again, tree B is only doubling and it's going more than double. How much more than double? Let's draw a model and find out. I can see that tree A went from two meters to five meters. And I'm thinking about how many copies of this original tree are in the larger tree. So I can see that I have one, two, and this piece is half of that, right? So I could say that tree A grew two and one half times the original size. Tree B on the other hand, when I say how many copies of this smaller tree that we started with are in the larger tree, I can see that there's only two copies. So tree B doubled in size, it's two times bigger, but tree A grew two and a half times its original size. This is an example of multiplicative reasoning. All right, so let's dive a little deeper. When I'm thinking about additive reasoning, I'm looking at the absolute change between two quantities. When I'm thinking absolute change, I'm thinking of subtraction. So again, think about how I was determining that to begin with. I'm saying for tree A, if I ended at five meters and I started at two meters, it grew three meters. I can also think about tree B. It ended at six meters, it started at three meters, so it also grew three meters. Additive reasoning, has the absolute change between two quantities, which means I'm going to need to subtract. Now let's look at multiplicative reasoning. When I'm thinking about multiplicative reasoning, I'm thinking about the relative change between two quantities. With multiplicative reasoning, we're looking at the relative change, not the absolute change like additive reasoning. So the relative change between two quantities, we're gonna compare these using division. In the case of our tree examples, we're really saying that tree A ended at five meters and it started at two meters. This is how I get the change in growth. Notice that I'm not saying two and a half meters. I'm saying it's two and a half times its original size. With tree B, it ended at six meters. It started at three meters and it's only two times its original size. This is the difference between additive versus multiplicative reasoning. Multiplicative reasoning, we're using division. Now you might be thinking, okay, so are you trying to sway us? Like is one kind of reasoning better than the other? No, actually there are certain cases where one type of reasoning might be more beneficial or give you more information than the other. For example, our tree problem. Saying that they both grow three meters doesn't really help me compare them. This is why I might want to look at comparing them multiplicatively. Know that both kinds of thinking are valuable in various contexts. What's really important is for you as a student to determine, do you know which type of reasoning you're using? Is it more appropriate to use one type of reasoning over the other? And will it give you more information or more valuable information to use one over the other? I hope now you better understand the difference between additive versus multiplicative reasoning, and you can maybe even start analyzing your own thinking on certain problems and deciding which reasoning may be more appropriate in certain scenarios.